Now we are going to reassemble the trucks on the ST24. We have discovered that the brackets that hold the brackets that hold our wipers in place are beyond repair. These pieces here generally form a little bracket that is used to hold the wipers in place. But they are so brittle, the parts to be joined are not even present. So they're junk. We're going to junk them. And I'm going to show you how to do it without using these. Now, we have set up our motor. As you can see here, I made a little PC board. It's kind of a jagged edge when I didn't clean it up. Um, I took a PC board, cut it down, and then I cut a slot in the middle so I could solder to both sides. I determined that these trucks, when the locomotive is going to be facing that direction, and you turn towards me, that the truck will move forward. The motor is tested to see in which position it should be for the red wire, which picks up from the right rail, will turn towards me. And that's the way it is. I like to have the black wire on the bottom and the red wire on the top, and the red wire is always right. That's how I put, set it up. All right. So, I have gone ahead and I have soldered some new wires onto the wipers. Then, I coated them with some oxard. I polished them. Coated them with oxard so that they would never tarnish again. And then I soldered some leads on there. Now, here's the problem. So, here is, and I've done, this is going to be the rear truck. So we're going to do the front one. All right, before we do this, let's go ahead and put the worm gear together. To do this, we're going to need our mystery oil and our mag one. All right. What do we need the oil for? I'll show you. Here is our worm. These are the thrust washers. This has all been run through the ultrasonic cleaner. They're ready to go. Here are our phosphor bronze bushings. This is a very important step that you should know. So let us find a small screwdriver. All right, take my small screwdriver. There's some oil on the top of this can and I'm going to get a drop on the end of my screwdriver. Then I'm going to take it on this worm and I'm going to put that drop right there. I'm going to get one more drop and I'm going to put it right here only. Don't let the oil spread to the end because that is where our joint goes, our universal joint right here. Now, I noticed that both both of these um, worms have different thrust washers. It's got a thin one, and then, I'll tell you what, this does not look like a thrust washer to me, but it does fit. So there it is. Then I take phosphor bronze, both sides, the oil is in here, and it did not spread out. Okay, that's a very important step that you need to do. So then I can go ahead and I can take some of the mag one. And I'm just going to fill the side on here. That's all I need. I'm not going all the way around. It's not necessary. Just fill up half. There we go. Worm is ready to go. We will now be able to set it down inside our piece here. 
I want to make sure these phosphor bronze have square ends on them that fit directly into this slot. Why there are two different washers on there, I don't I don't know, but it was on the other one too. There must have been some reason why they did that. Because they are two different thicknesses. The next atlas I open up, I will have to check that out, see if that holds true. Okay. We did this earlier. It's all ready. We'll go ahead. Now, I have put some acetone on the orange towel. Where the wiper fits, there's a little pin. I need to wipe that with the acetone. And in fact, I need a little, just a little bit more because it's evaporated. Okay. I need to wipe that spot. And without melting the plastic, I need to wipe that spot. All right. Just clean. Now we're going to put this together. Okay. It lines up just like that. A little snap. Okay. It's together. Now we'll go ahead and we'll put your top on here while we're in here. That little piece that has... The socket a little socket right there okay now on the other side we will need to wipe to make sure both sides have been wiped with acetone on the slippery plastic next we need to take you wonder why I got all these things around here For times like this I need to clean where that hole is on the wiper on the back with the acetone. Since I ox guarded it, but I'm going to be using some contact cement, and I do not want the back side to have a coating of ox guard on it. Right, only in the spot where I'm going to use the contact cement. Now I'm going to show you the shortcut. If you, I'm only showing you the shortcut because we're doing this on video. Normally, now we know, okay, this end goes towards the truck. That means this side here is the red wire side. All right, so I'm going to put some plyo bond. I'm only using the plyo bond because I can show you a shortcut with this, which most of you already know may not it is a dangerous shortcut oh crap I think I left the cover open for too long and by too long I mean like three minutes now I'm gonna have to get some more plyo bond because I'm running out this has lasted me like I have two tubes of it that's lasted me like five years. And I build a lot of fast tracks. But you can get this at Lowe's. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put a little bit on you. Now I'm not going to overdo it. But I am going to get. A nice little bit of plow bond. On both of them. That is how much. Then I'm going to put the cap back on. I'm going to stick this back where it goes. Now I'm going to take the red one. I'm going to set it in place. It has a pin where it goes. I'm set it in place. Now what I should be doing right now is taking this off. Just like that, and waiting like 10 minutes. That's what I should be doing. And I'm going to do it with the black one. If you have ever installed... Like every time I rebuild my desk, I like to put on a new vinyl top on it. I've rebuilt it a number of times. The trick with contact cement is let it dry till it's like dry to the touch. You can touch it, and it doesn't feel sticky. 
What it is sticky to is the other piece that is also dry to the touch. When those two touch together, it's stuck. Okay, now I got a little bit on there, and I got a little bit on here. Give that a second. While we're giving that a second, let's just take a look. Let's take a look here at the wheels. Let's look at these wheels for a second. Okay, we're giving that a second. We're going to take these wheels, and we're going to oxguard them. I got a little paintbrush. Now, I've already polished them. I painted the ends with a little brown texture. Something weird I noticed about these is the insulated wheel with the big insulator on it. Very squared off sharp end. Whereas the solid wheel has a rounded end. <clears throat> I don't know what the significance of it is. All I know is I put the insulators all on one side. Which on the back truck is on the black wire side. So on the front one, I want all of the insulators... Let's see here. I want to I want to reverse it so that the insulators are on the red wire. Oh, yep. So they're going to be towards me. Okay. So that's how I'm going to do. I'm just going to have it so that does the wipers pick up on both sides? I'm just not sure how well they pick up on the side with that big insulator. It doesn't matter. Though. We're going to paint Oxgard. We're going to get it all the way around. On the inside, and my nice polished wheels. These wheels are, they are brass that has been like nickel plated. So they wear out. Um, if you polish these with a really stiff wire wheel, you'll just rip the plating right off of them. That's one. And because I use this ox guard on my wheels and on my track, I do not spend any time cleaning track. I don't have to. The track you can see on my workbench has not been cleaned in over five years, and it's still perfect. It changes a little bit of color, but it is still 100% reliable. Oxgard is a conductive antioxidant, and even the great electrician Lynn Westcott and John Armstrong both thought in the 60s that this would be the way of the future. However, in the 60s, Oxgard was more of a liquid, so it didn't, it wasn't persistent like it is now. You paint this on here now, two weeks from now it forms a dry film. And it just stays that way. And I've got tons of brass track that I use. I paint the track. I sand it. I sand the track with a sanding sponge. A rough one. Yep. It gets scratches in the rail. That's exactly what I want. Because then I go back with this ox guard and I fill it. I paint this on the rail head. And I have perfect conductive rail. And it just stays that way. For years for sure. I don't know how many years yet. But going on five. Still good. All right, wheels done. And it works on wheels, too. Really, really good. Okay, shortcut time. Now, this contact cement did not like to stick very well to slippery plastic and metal. This is not an easy joint. I think I can leave that up. If I want a shortcut, I just take my soldering pencil and I just touch it a little bit. Just that's my, that's it. That's all. I'm not going to touch it anymore. It felt good. Felt like I had a decent join. We don't want to mess with it. If it works, then stop fixing it. And you can pull this up later. I'd say that, damn, that's a good joint right there. Okay, that's all. That's all I got to do. Now we are ready to put in the wheels. So what we're going to do, once again, we're going to take the bad one. 
we're going to wipe the wheel sets just once. That's all we need. We don't need to go all the way around. Wheel sets ready. Now, what did I say? I want... I want the insulated part, and I want that insulated part to be towards me. So with the truck flip this way, I'm going to make sure all my wheels have an insulator towards me. Okay, now, I'm going to go, oh, see, I'm screwing up. I'm touching it too much. If I would leave it sit in there which I'm going to do, I'll get the cover on here, that join will become nice, and it will not be, and I did it backwards already. There we go. Now that join will become as permanent as I need it to be. If I need to take it off, it will peel off. Okay, good to go. Let's put our cover on it. Cover can only go one way. Fit the slot in, done. There we go. We now have wheel sets. So, next up is going to be to size the motor. And then get her wired up. And we should be good to go. So far, coming along nicely. Oops, coming right along.